What does your reading speed mean? Well, we can look at this in a number of different ways. We can look at it in terms of um, fluency. We can look at the speed, the time it takes you to read and the number of words you can read. We can look at um, three different reading speeds. A researcher called Fry suggested that there are three different speeds that we can read at. Uh, there's also four different reading styles, which I think we've talked about before. Um, there are five reading speeds, according to Carver. And we can also look at the brain and how the brain processes language and what that might mean for reading speed. But first of all, let's look at fluency. Um, as we hopefully remember Sakai Sensei's advice, Sakai Sensei's three rules for extensive reading, which are no dictionaries. If you don't know a word, ignore it. And um, if it's boring, stop reading. And these are mostly about fluency. And um, we may have Uh, I, I could have shown you the whole of that, but I think that's probably enough to give you the idea. If you're reading like that, it's going to be incredibly painful. You need to be able to read quickly and smoothly. You need to avoid reading pain. And to avoid reading pain, you need to know at least 98% of the words on any given page. And you need to really not worry about the words. If you're thinking about the words, then you're not reading fluently. To read fluently, you need to think about the story and read the story and not worry so much about the words. The words get in the way. The words are like a wall and you're, you're not really interested in the wall. You want to get through the wall to the other side. Um, and to get through a wall, you need to focus through the wall to the other side of the wall. And you need regular practice to become fluent. To become fluent in anything, you need to practice and for it to become smooth and natural and automatic. And um, that's fluency. So as far as reading speed is concerned, um, the faster you can read, the better. Um, and if you're reading word by word by word, then it's not fluent. So you have to also think about what uh, Nuttall told us about the uh, vicious cycle of the poor reader, which is that you don't understand. If you don't understand, you can't read quickly. If you can't read quickly, you don't enjoy reading. If you don't enjoy reading, you don't read much. And if you don't read much, you don't get better. And if you don't get better, you don't understand. So this goes around and around in a horrible spiral that ends up just not reading. Um, we need to switch this around so that we understand easily. If we understand easily, we can read quickly. If we can read quickly, we can enjoy reading. Um, and if we enjoy reading, we'll read more. And if we read more, we'll read better. And if we read better, we'll understand easily. And this is a virtuous cycle. So we need to get on this on this cycle. 